Hi, my name is Crystal William, the founder of Body Lux SLU, and I'm here today with Dazzle Magazine. Body Lux SLU was an idea that I had from last year about October or September 2020 and the way it started is that um, my daughter has sensitive skin and I wanted to use something for her that was more natural so for me I only used coconut oil and shea butter on my skin and I wanted to have like the sense of you know products like um, Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. So this is how it actually started. I was just experimenting and doing research and until I made my first product. We manufacture all our handmade products. So we make body butters, body scrubs, body oils, and now we're moving into handmade soaps and also skincare. Everything. So all the butters, I mix them. Um, the scrubs, the oils, everything. I try my best to get a lot of the products um, in St. Lucia, but sometimes that is not very feasible, especially with the butters. So some natural products I get here, some of those I have to source elsewhere. I did not have any prior knowledge of formulations. Um, it was basically me testing it out myself and learning from the internet, because right now you could basically learn anything online so I just watched a lot of videos I did a lot of research um, because the formulation is a really really big part of what I do if the formula isn't right it could cause irritation the product could go bad so many bad things can happen if the formulation is not perfect so it's a test and trial kind of thing prior to all of this I did a lot of testing <laughs> A lot of trying. Um, I use my family as guinea pigs. I use my friends, so I I didn't want to come up with a product that I wasn't a hundred percent comfortable with. And even with my first launch in July of this year, 2021, I still went back to the drawing board with some of my products to improve on the formulations. I have four body butters, different scents, four body scrubs, two body oils, two soaps. And I'm also going into skincare. My line ranges from like 20 different products, but I'm not launching everything as yet. Like I said, it's test and trial. So I'm gonna be restocking with about 12 different products. Well, the feedback from my customers and even the general public it has been amazing. I did not expect to sell out as quickly as I did. The support has been there. Um, I did not know there was a community in St. Lucia that was so much interested in things that were handmade because everybody's into buying, you know, products from overseas that smell good. So it was it was a good sigh of relief that people were interested in what I had to offer and especially how I made them. My number one seller from my line is my Island Girl Shimmer Oil. That has that what sells the most. It's a tropical flavored oil with um, golden shimmer. I created it more for an outdoor use and photo shoot use. Cause you know, you always want that glow when you're outside. I was hoping COVID was not gonna be there so people could use it more, but it still ended up being my number one seller. My challenges have been um, sourcing the natural products that has been my number one challenge because most of my products my ingredients i should say i need to source them overseas and with covid it's proving difficult in terms of the wait time so sometimes for instance my launch i had to push it back because i did not receive the raw ingredients in time so for now that has been my number one challenge just sourcing and getting it here in the time that i want it uh, my number one ingredient that is used in all my products is virgin coconut oil so you get that in my scrubs my butters and also my oils and my soaps i have used um 
Instagram and Facebook to market my brand the body looks I'm actually working on a website right now so that I could start doing regional orders because I have gotten a lot of inquiries um, about shipping so what I use I use Instagram which is my number one medium to get clients which is why I got most of my clients and I also have a Facebook page um, the advice that I would give to anyone venturing into this type of industry or anything similar would be to do a lot of research and always be open to learning um, everything that you can from from all sources and to learn how to adapt because sometimes the way that you would like to do something is not always how it's possible so that's what I would I would advise learn how to adapt and keep your mind open to learning everything that you can um, you can find Bodylux SLU on Facebook and Instagram at Bodylux SLU and don't forget to subscribe to Dazzle Magazine on YouTube.